As elemental as fire, as natural as breathing, in the hands of master Italian glassmaker Lino Tagliapietra, the fragile materials of glass become the stuff of great art. Tagliapietra spent a week in October 2012 creating his artistic pieces at the MIT Glass Lab, experimenting with folding techniques to enhance color and design effects. Tagliapietra is assisted by Nancy Callan, David Walters, and Darren Dennison. As Talia Pietro works each piece, torches are used to localize heat as the glass sculptures are reshaped. The hot glass is pressed or rolled onto the murini or cane, then it is repeatedly fired, folded, blown, and shaped until the final look is achieved. Glass blowing is a traditional art form and most of the tools in use are the same as those used 100 years ago. Talia Pietra is working with an MIT team that includes computer science professor Eric Demain on a software program, Virtual Glass, designed to bring computer-aided design to making glass cane. Demain explains his goals in Virtual Glass. It's kind of a back and forth between we want to design our own cane and our own glass work uh, and we want to enable other people to do it so it's a nice healthy exchange between building software to be able to simulate more and more glass blowing and actually doing glass blowing and experimenting showing designs to Lino and having him make things we wanted to embrace that more and allow people to essentially experiment with designs without shop time see what things might look like find really cool designs that are new and exciting and haven't been tried before and then go out and blow them and see if they look like they do in simulation. A traveling exhibit, Lino Talia Pietra in Retrospect, a modern renaissance in glass, traveled for two years from 2008, beginning in Seattle. The final step in the process is placing the glass in a cooling oven where it will gradually reach room temperature. Peter Hauk, director of the MIT Glass Lab, carries a finished piece to the cooling oven.